Hey, hi everybody, and welcome back to another Let's Play of Fable 2. We We've are. Done it. I'm sure a little more now and we'll do the trick. We are on a new quest. I gotta talk to this Oculist. Uh, but first I need to locate, locate the place that I gotta go to, and I haven't been there yet. So, yeah, my dog might find some treasure along the way, or a dick spot. I named the dog Winger. I could open it, but I'm trying to save all my keys. Wait, the dog wanted me to do something. Right, I'm gonna go back this way down here because the dog's because we need a dog for some reason. And I want to know why. I'm just curious what the dog found. Okay, wing up. Show me the way. Here. Oh, it's one of these keys. Uh, pretty sure I don't have enough, do I? Yeah. I do. Never mind. Potion of life. I thought it was like one of those things. Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna do another playthrough. I'm gonna have to watch a video of how to find all the keys and then, yeah. Or I could just look up online. I probably will one of these days. life, limb, and more as you quest for the remnants of lost civilizations? Oh, I suppose you want to know who I am. People are so conventional in this particular era. My name is Belle, and I'm Albion's foremost archaeologist, okay? Now, will you embark on marvellous adventures in search of ancient artifacts or not? I guess so. I got that for Is there any greater gift to humanity than digging up old things nobody cares about? What an ignorant time we live in. This is what my latest research indicates would be a good target. My research proves that the first artifact is hitting somewhere in the oldest part of the city. Well,
All right, dog. Okay, Winger, show me wet, pal. This way? Okay, good. Aiken scroll. There you go. Yes, thank you. All right, I will do that another time, the second one. So yeah, this is like the. That's like the first part of like my quest. Okay, so now I need to go back to uh, thingy here. That would take like 30 hours on foot.
You've done it. Almost everyone in Oak Field has heard of you. Now you can go back to the Abbot. It's you. I prayed for your return. I heard what you did in Rookridge. I think you could be of great use to us. Come, walk with me a while. Now, nourishing the golden acorn is done with holy water from the well spring of light. But the spring is located in a nearby cave, which is said to be quite dangerous. Our sacred text says two monks must enter this cave, the strongest and a second of the abbot's choosing. Obviously this concerns me, especially since the strongest monk here is my own child. So instead of a second monk, I have chosen to send a protector for the first. And that's you, if you're interested. Job. The cave is just at the end of this road. Okay. You probably passed it on your way here. Our strongest monk can be here. Our first hero awaits us, even if they do not yet realize it. call me Hannah when they think they're being clever. They're not. But I can't do much about it because monks make a solemn vow never to bash anyone's face in. Did my father mention that? Yeah. Whatever fighting's to be done in there, it's all yours. We require a hero, not a pacifist monk. We'll need her to find a reason to fight. I don't mind telling you, I'm a bit envious. You get all the excitement and I get to carry this bloody thing like some sort of mule. Okay. Look at it. It's enormous. Well whispering. Well Well Spring Cave. I guess that's what this episode is gonna be called. Well Spring Cave. It's amazing when you think about it. No one else has been in here for maybe a hundred years. Well, no more. Come on, we go the dog. I guess an adventurer or two could have come in, but if they got out alive, I didn't hear about it. Hmm. Anyway. Hey, don't you wander off now, boy. Stay with us where it's safe. Left this world. It's actually rather sad, isn't it? Yep. 
You are a quiet one. Our wing is scared. Watch your step, doggy. Looks a bit steep here. Do you reckon we'll run into anything nasty in here? I mean, a dark, creepy cave is a hell of a place for a holy spring. Especially for an order of pacifists. You know, I've heard of monks in the north who believe that to transcend violence, you have to understand it first. So instead of praying, they train to fight all day. They think that's the path to inner peace. All right, this should be the central chamber. Wow, I've never seen anything like this, ever. Now, according to my father, we need to go through these three doors in order to collect the water. Putting weight on the pressure plates will open the doors. This one's the first. Hurry up. But yeah, she's got a heavy thing. I stand here so I can catch it. And you need to stand on that one. Right, there it goes. Oh yeah, I can feel this thing getting even heavier. That's nice, that is. So far, this isn't too bad. A couple of steep bits, but... That's it. I really hope they find someone else to do this next time. Mind you, I'll be an old lady by then, so I'll probably off the hook. You know, this is probably going to be the highlight of my life. The day I carried a jug through a cave. Hardly epic pose stuff, is it? Did you hear something? No. No. Probably just my imagination. much do you? No I don't. Right, I reckon that's, that's all the water we can get from this one. Alright. On to the next. Hello man. Die. I'm dead. This is where you come from, right? Have you got enough ammo to keep this down? I didn't know they did that. They must be trying to protect the water. Bloody hell! Hurry up! I got stuff to do. Very 
fast learner. I don't see any reason for that. And then Holloman followed us. Guess we're safe in here. to catch the water, same as before. Ah, oh, really? Just have to wait until this thing stops running? You'd think they would have made this jug with a flat bottom in case you want to have a rest. But as it is, it would just tip over, and then where would it be? Here comes my dog. What's winging? He's what biting a head. Oh, I can't stop it. Don't worry, I'll get it back. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah, non, mon homme! of light, bless this water, that with it we may give rise to new life once more. As new life rises, so shall we. Sister Hannah, Robin? What is it? It's your father. One of Lucian's men. He's holding him hostage at the temple. No. He's got a gun. I have to save my father. <sighs> Come on. We have to get to the temple. One of Lucian's agents has come to the temple. Go after her. There's treasure. What would two hundred gold? Don't make 
let me kill you too. I'm sorry, Father. Not that I broke my vow. I'm sorry I didn't break it sooner. I never did fit in at this place. We both knew that. And now I'm making a new vow. Lucian will die for what he did to you. I won't break this one. Sister Hannah, the blessing. You do it. As new life rises, so shall we. As the seed returns to the earth, so do we all. Is that it then? My father's gone. The golden oak is flourishing again. So now life just goes on as before, does it? The other monks may believe that, but your eyes have been opened. Where did you come from? Who are you? Someone who can tell you much about Lucian. Where he is, what his plans are, and how you can gain your revenge, if you will listen. I want to know everything. Then come with me, Sister Hannah. Call me Hammer. Taken hammer to the guild. Remember, you can spend experience points to your hero. Go to abilities in the pause menu to see what strength, skills, what ability you can improve. You've done well, hero. You have gathered the first of the three heroes, and we are one step closer to defeating Lucian's plans. It will take some time for Hannah to overcome her grief and longer to explain her role in Lucian's downfall. Perhaps this would be a good time to upgrade your equipment. I believe there is a sale in Bowerstone. It may well be worth a visit. Come back to the guild when you are ready. Alright guys, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one, because I'm going to go watch some Netflix.